the role of the local communities in protection of wildlife and nature. The local community has always been for nature. Whether it is the Chipko movement, which happened in 1973 at the foothills of Himalayas, where the local communities protected the flora and fauna. This movement saw an extensive participation of rural women in a large scale movement. Now, let us see what happens in other parts of Rajasthan. The villages have been opposing mining, destruction of trees, poaching of animals through legal leg and laws such as the Wildlife Protection Act, hoping that small scale movements would spur up nationwide actions. Now, why don't we see? what happened in a part of Rajasthan. The five villages in Alwar district declared 1,200 hectares of forest land, the Bairo Dev Dakar Son Shuri, that is, the land under the control of local communities due to the fact that the people and the ancestors have been living on that land for such a long period time and thus can take care of the forest the best possible way. They enforced a set of rules which do not allow mining, cutting of trees and poaching. Now, why not we look at uh, another part of Rajasthan. The Gon tribal community of the Lekha village Gatsiroli district started ruling over 1800 hectares of forest land some 20 years ago. They, they in the process, they stopped a paper mill from cutting large amount of bamboo stalks, prevented a forest fire, and promotes the growth of NTFPs, non-timber forest products. These are some of the actions taken up by local communities. Are these enough? No. Every community should take up this as this is an emergency for the whole nation. No, an emergency for the whole world. Over. Local communities are the true owners of nature. They play a fundamental role in the bio biological diversity and protection of forests and other natural resources. Their traditional knowledge can also substantially enrich the scientific knowledge and adaptation activities of others. Now you may think, what does this have to do with any one of us? Or what can you possibly do? Here is what you can do as a local community. You can promote the growth of local trees and plants. You can report illegal, illegal poaching and cutting of trees to the respective authorities. You yourself can promote promote awareness among people in your community to conserve wildlife and nature. Teach them about the traditional way of doing anything that will ensure no part of forest is destroyed and deprived of resources. Take this up seriously and make sure we leave something for the future generations. Now let us take an oath that we will do whatever it takes to protect nature. Mother Nature do needs care. Show her your care by caring for her trees. So, thank you, Jay Hindu.